Hey guys, good morning. So I did get a request to do an Amazon TA and if you can tell I've been doing a lot of just general pattern <laughs> recognizing on, on Amazon. So let me get rid of all this stuff for you guys because it's going to get extremely, um, you know, convoluted with a bunch of crap. Um, and it's, oof. I mean, it's been trading sideways for like, what, since July, which kind of sucks. I mean, generally it's been a, kind of a range, right? I mean, it's pretty easy to tell. It's been kind of like, what? Like, it's been here for a while. But, I mean, the S&P 500 has been hurting a lot. So, it's kind of really hard to, to tell what's going on. I mean, it's on major support right now, obviously. It's on, ma it's on major weekly support. And you guys already know that I only draw my support and resistance uh, based off of the weekly. So, probably, yeah, it's probably going to be a good spot right there. I don't need to really, I don't think I need to put too much up here doesn't seem like there's much of a much resistance up here it's just let me see how far how down can i go i think that's another spot and then one more spot like right yeah right there i think so generally you already have this range on amazon right here and it does look like a you know pre consist this this is actually what i would call a head and shoulders right you have a lot of people with a lot of weird like patterns and stuff like they're like oh this is a head and shoulders they'll go like this this is a head and shoulders i'm like like that looks like a fucking penis dude right like that's i mean first of all you have to understand that you know i only trade uh you know i only trade patterns or candle patterns when they're a hundred percent clear like when you look at something you're like that's that like when that's a head and shoulders that's when i would trade it i would never trade it something like this and when you want a head you want a head and shoulders to be you know consistent like this right you want the actual head to not be much bigger than the retracement points and the, the high peaks on the top right so here this is going to be easier to understand right so you have your shoulder right shoulder you have your shoulder and then you have your head up here right like it's not they're not far away from each other right they're they're essentially perfect right this is this is essentially a perfect head and shoulders pattern and and, and the bad thing is that if if you have a head and shoulders pattern like that that's that's basically perfect then you can actually trade it i would not recommend trading a head and shoulders pattern where it doesn't look a hundred percent like a head and shoulders pattern like it doesn't make any sense um let me see can i do yeah that's probably gonna be a good support we're going to have more support right here. Let's see how much, how many, how many wicks can I, that's another good support right there. Possibly another support, right? Can I go higher? Yeah, that's going to be another one. I think I have too much to delete this one. This one should probably be lower. Can it be here? Probably that that's probably gonna be it. So I think right now, unfortunately, because we do have like a perfect head and shoulders pattern, the weekly is bearish. The monthly is either crossing bearish, yeah. Yeah, see, it just crossed bearish in September. October, we're getting stronger bear movement. I think we're going, I think Amazon's going down, essentially. I think Amazon's gonna be retracing down to at least, you know, po possibly like $3,000, I think. I think especially after this full head and shoulders pattern playing out and it's perfect right that's a perfect head and shoulders pattern that's the only way that i would trade anything but keep in mind you are on you are on really nice support here at 3174 so i can definitely see us dropping even further breaking uh breaking range and going down to like three thousand bucks um as the way things are going right now as far as the s p 500 and and other tickers um you know, I can see, I don't want to say I can see a $2,900 uh, Amazon, um, but SPY right now, I have a bear, I mean, I, I had a bear case for SPY like a week or two ago of it hitting 425 and it just hit 425 like yesterday, right? So my forecast was right. I still think that there's a, I still, ha I still have a bear case on SPY for this whole month. So I would not be surprised if SPY drops to 400 bucks. Worst case scenario, like 388, and then even worst case scenario is like 360 something, I think. But there's a big gap on, on the S&P 500 at 400 bucks. So I would not be surprised if it hits $400. Um, as of right now, it is hitting major weekly support. 
So, you know, but but keep in mind though that it does have a pretty big Amazon when it when it likes to go down, it usually goes down for about what, three weeks, and then it probably recovers. Right now you're really on the second week of Amazon going down. So I can easily see Amazon back at, you know, three thousand dollars. I'd have to say as of right now, I'd say I wouldn't be surprised to just see another drop off on Amazon to go down here. I wouldn't even think it's gonna recover. Like usually I would say, oh, you know, it's gonna run from you know, it's gonna run from here, probably bounce, rebound, go up, and then come back down like this, and then break to the low side. But I think as of right now, with the momentum that Amazon has and with the you know, with such a clear head and shoulders pattern, I think for the most part Amazon's gonna be going down. And you can actually effectively see this on the lower time frames, right? You had a you had a bullish cycle back on September 15 on the four hour. What happened? You barely went up, you dropped. Same thing. Bear cycle September 22nd on the four hour, you barely went up and then you dropped. I think it's gonna happen again. I think you're gonna see another bear cycle where you possibly go up back to maybe like 3268, and then you're gonna have another drop to like 3091 or whatever, right? So look at every single drop. Just look at every single drop and what the consistency has been, right? So you've gone from here to here. So you dropped 244 bucks in 11 days or whatever. Again, from peak highs, let's go peak highs, whatever, to where it is now. Right, like 244 bucks in nine days. So 11 days, nine days, and then you have a retracement of, of like a specific amount, right? So I, like I said, I can I can definitely see us going back, like retrace back up to like three, two, whatever, and then drop another 244 bucks, which would bring us down to like $3,000. But look at the consistency of it, right? Look at that consistency. Look at every single drop, 244, 11 days, 244, nine days. So what I would do is I'd probably wait for a retracement back up to like, like I said, like 3,200, whatever. And then you can probably see a, a drop in, in, in uh, on Amazon down to like $3,000. And I think it's gonna stay consistent to this trend, right? It's just, it's been pretty consistent. I don't think it's gonna switch it up. It's just gonna be consistent here. That's what you're gonna see. You're gonna see probably a retracement like that. You might see a retracement, like I said, back from here up to like 3,200 bucks, whatever. And then another drop down all the way down to 3,000 bucks. It just seems, it seems too probable for it, for it not to happen that way, right? So if you, if you drop from here, what is it, 32, 32.87? What does it drop, 244? 244, you know, don't be surprised if you see a $3,042, you know, uh, Amazon after you have a retrace to the upside. But keep in mind, this is gonna be your general trend and it's been trending ever since September 8th, right? So. This is your this is your trend right here. That's your trend, <laughs> right? It's been consistent. So downtrend, rebound, back to trend. Come down, rebound back to trend. Come down, rebound back to trend. More than likely, come down and rebound back to. Uh, you're probably gonna rebound from here up to trend, and then probably drop all the way again down to three thousand bucks. It's it's pretty consistent. That's what that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a retest of maybe that thirty two eighty four level, and then a, a full on drop of two hundred and forty but four bucks roughly in like two weeks down to, you know, three thousand and you know, ninety one dollars, three thousand eighty something dollars, whatever that support is. But yeah, I think Amazon's going down. You might see a retrace back up to its trend and then come all the way back down. I'll see you later. Bye bye.